this is madhuta today i'm going to talk about how bharatanatyam and yoga has a healthy connection introduction bharatanatyam and yoga are the two ways that exist to help us understand the manifestation of the divine in a human form both of these wonderful arts are the products of sanatana dharma which is the bedrock of indian culture both of these arts are also evolutionary sciences for the spiritual evolution of the human being to the state of superhuman and finally the divine bharatanatyam is yoga if yoga means union for surely this ancient art is one of the most beautiful and satisfying ways of expressing the human longing for union with the divine as an art form bharatanatyam demands conscious understanding of body emotions and mind the divine dance of energy in this universe so graphically and beautifully represented by the lord nataraja the lord of dance is the source of inspiration for all bharatanatyam dancers origin and mythology of bharatanatyam and yoga yoga The practice of yoga is believed to have started with very dawn of civilization. Several thousand years ago, on the banks of the lake Kanti Sarovar in the Himalayas, Adi Yogi poured his profound knowledge into the legendary Saptarishis or seven sages. The sages carried this powerful yogic science into different parts of the world, including Asia, the Middle East, North Africa, and Southern Southern America. Interestingly, modern scholars have noted and marveled at the close parallels found between the ancient cultures across the globe. Agastya and Saptarishi, who traveled across the Indian subcontinent, crafted this culture around core yogic way of life. Bharatanatyam According to the Natya Shastra and Abhinaya Dharpana Lord Brahma created the art of dance upon the request of gods as a form of entertainment and it became known as the fifth veda and was open to all irrespective of caste and creed Prior to the creation of Natya Veda Brahma entered a yogic trance in which he recalled the four vedas he drew a literature from the rig veda song from the sama veda abhinaya or expression from the yajur veda and rasa or aesthetic experience from the atharva veda these aspects are the four main constituents of the Nat- natya veda lord brahma passed on this natya veda to his son sage bharata who passed it on to his hundred sons thus this divine art descended from the heavens to earth lord shiva took up the tandava masculine form of dance there is goddess parvati his consort took up the lasya feminine form the number of seals and fossils remains of indus saraswati valley civilization with yogic motifs and figures performing yoga sadhana suggests the presence of yoga in ancient india The phallic symbols, seals of idols of mother goddess are suggestive of tantra yoga. These are the number of seals remains of Indus Saraswati valley civilization with yogic moves and figures performing yogas indicate the presence of yoga in India. Now let us come to Bharatanatyam. Bharata staged the first play with his 100 sons and apsaras in the amphitheater of the Himalayas Lord Shiva the ultimate dancer was so enchanted that he sent his disciple Tandu to Bharata to teach him the true elements of dance These are depicted in the Natya Shastra in its chapters collectively named Tandava Lakshana Lord Nataraja is considered to be the god of dance in Hindu mythology His dancing image in tandava form is the starting point of all creation 
To the dancer, the four arms of Nataraja are a depiction of dance movement in an immobile and static medium. The mystic of the arms and the legs of the figure has a cosmological significance as the dance is taken merely a human representation of the cosmic fact. Now, we will see some mudras and its benefit that are similar in Bharatanatyam and Yoga. Mudras Hamsasya Hasta Hamsasya Hasta is the classical dance represent the shape of swan and is also similar to Jnana Mudra in Yoga which increases the memory power and enhances concentration. Trishula Hasta The Trishula Hasta depicting Trishula or Trident matches with Varun Mudra which is claimed to balance the water content in body and prevent pain due to inflammation or shrinkage of muscles. Mayura Hasta Mayura Hasta, symbolizing peacock, resembles with Prithvi Mudra that improves the complexion of skin and, and, and helps to increase the weight. Simma Mukha Hasta The Simma Mukha Hasta, typifying a lion head, is similar to the Apana Mudra which regulates diabetes and helps to cure constipation and piles. Kartari Mukha Hasta The Kartari Mukha Hasta represents scissors and tallies with Prana Mudra. It removes vitamin deficiency and fatigue, improves immunity and power of eyes and reduces eye-related diseases. The Chakras There are seven chakras in human body. Now we will see one by one and its benefits. Now we will see how these chakras present in human body beneficial to both dancers and yogis. Moladhara Chakra or the Root Chakra Moladhara Chakra is located at the base of the spine between the anus and the genitals. It radiates the color red and represents the element earth. The Tattadava helps to keep the balance of the Moladhara Chakra for the dancers. Vrikshasana helps the yogis to keep control of this Moladhara Chakra. Swadhisthana Swadis Chakra The second chakra is located at the lower abdomen, about four fingers below the navel. It radiates the color orange and represents the element water. The hip rotation helps the dancers to keep control of this Swadhisthana chakra. Trikonasana helps the yogis to keep control of the sacral chakra. Manipura chakra Manipura Chakra is located above the navel, between the navel and the bottom of the ribcage. It represents the element fire and thus radiates the yellow color. This chakra is around the midriff. So, the fifth Korvaya Adava helps to keep control of the chakra for the dancers. Dhanurasana or bow pose helps to keep control of this Manipura Chakra for the yogis. Anahata Chakra, the heart chakra. Anahata Chakra, as the name implies, it is located in the heart region. Its color is green and the element is hair. This fourth chakra is the seat of balance within the body characterized by emotions of love, attachment, compassion, trust and passion. When Anahata Chakra is out of balance, a person might feel 
uh, might feel anger, lack of trust, jealousy, fear, and moodiness. By keeping, uh, when this chakra in this, when this chakra in balance, uh, you might uh, the person might feel compassionate, optimistic, friendly, motivated, understanding, and caring. The Anja, the Samyukta Hasta, uh, first Hasta, Anjalista helps to keep control of this Anahata Chakra. The half bridge pose, Ardha Setu Bandhasana, helps, helps the yogis to keep control of this heart chakra. Vishuddha Chakra. Vishuddha Chakra is located at the base of throat coinciding with the thyroid gland. Its color is bright blue and the element is paste. Sarvagasana, the shoulder stand helps to keep control of this chakra for the yogis. Vishuddha Chakra helps the dancers to feel the to feel the music throughout their body. Agnya Chakra, the third eye chakra. Agnya Chakra is located in between the eyebrows. It is free of element, but does does but does have a color indigo blue third eye chakra is often used as focal point during asana practice to bring more concentration and awareness it is said that it is said that meditation on agnya chakra destroys the karma of the past past lives and gives liberation and uh, more knowledge The Griva Beda, the Prakampita movement, helps the dancers to keep control of this Agnya Chakra. Shirshasana helps to keep the control of this third eye chakra for the yogis. Sahastra Trara Chakra Sahastra Tara Chakra is located at the crown of the head. Also, this chakra does not represent an element. Its color is violet or white in color. Sahastra Tara Chakra is the center of spirituality, enlightenment and energy. It allows for the inward flow of, inward flow of wisdom and brings the gift of cosmic consciousness. It allows the dancers to feel their movements while dancing. The Shirshasana helps to keep control of the Sahastratara Chakra or the Crown Chakra for the Hugis. Conclusion Bharatanatyam is no less a spiritual search than the sannyasi way of reunification. Yoga and Bharatanatyam are both a means by which with body, mind and soul we may pray to the divine. We may pray to the divine. These great, these great arts help us to divinize ourselves, to develop our spiritual qualities of loyalty, fidelity, a sense of dharma, discipline, dedication, and so on. I'd like to conclude with a quote. Dance and yoga drags, drags you in creativity. Dance detaches, detaches your worries. Dance makes you to feel your own life. It stretches your mind and heart towards God. Feels the life's music. Tap your feet for it. For it. Thank you.